to address the problem systematically, we must have some level of introspection across all layers of government and politics. Former President Uhuru Kenyatta decided to rock bald head during his trip to Nigeria. The former president used to have a head full of hair and it had been a defining feature of his appearance for many years. However, recently, the former president was seen rocking a bald head that drew the attention of many Kenyans. It has, however, not been established what led to the decision to shave the hair. On Thursday, Uhuru arrived in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, rocking a blue trouser and a black t-shirt and complimenting his look with a fedora. Uhuru Kenyatta was in Divoire to attend the 15th high-level retreat on the promotion of peace, security and stability in Africa. We must accept that as an African Union, we are greatly hindered in our ability to effectively execute our mandate by the fact that we have limited resources. And I find this uh, to be quite, quite a challenge because that inability means we have to always depend on other actors for their support for what we call African-led solutions. And one of the things that we must seriously consider going forward as a continent is that if we truly want to own a process that if we really want to be masters of our own future that if we truly want sustainable solutions that are african born we cannot do that if we are not in a position back what we do through resources that we can. The former president is known to dress en sync with the event he is attending. On Monday, Uhuru rocked a black suit and a white shirt when he delivered the inaugural lecture for participants of Course 33 of the National Defense College Nigeria, NDC, in Abuja. And the way in which they function as a collective towards the pursuit of national as well as regional objectives. To address the problem systematically, we must have some level of introspection across all layers of government and politics. By instituting reforms at the national level, we are laying the foundation to reinvent ourselves as Africans at the sub-regional, regional and continental level. The lecture was titled, The Imperatives of Strong Institutions, a Panacea for National Security and Development in Africa. Uhuru emphasized the need for African leaders to build strong institutions that will enhance security and development in the region. He called for technological innovation that is contextualized towards developing African needs in areas of agriculture, science, technology and infrastructure among others, aimed at actualizing economic independence in the continent, adding that such feat can only be achieved through adequate provision of security. The inaugural lecture is organized to launch the participants into the course and to prepare them for the scholarly activities in line with the mission of this college. In late September, rumors surfaced online suggesting that Uhuru was in critical condition and had sought medical attention. At the time, the former president had been last spotted in Nigeria on June 14, 2024. One of Uhuru's close confidants, however, dispelled the rumors, citing that the former president was been victimized. 